Okay. So what is happening? Take a look at those stamps. Right? I'm playing Far Cry 5. And I'm using that ID cooling adapter that they sell on Amazon. And well, uh, it's just not doing what it's supposed to. It's not. I connected it right. Um, I didn't do anything wrong. As a matter of fact, I re thermal the whole thing twice just to make sure the plate of the uh, cooler, the water pump plate, the copper was making contact with the thermal paste and the um, die from the GPU but it's absolutely it's not um, I'm getting the same temperatures as if I was using the um, the custom cooler for this uh, graphics car, so that's a shame. What is up, people of YouTube? I hope that you guys are staying safe with this COVID. 19. I hope that you guys are staying safe and be careful. With that said, let's talk about the Frost Flow 120 VGA. The concept of this all in one with the bracket adapter is fantastic. And that is the reason why me and my friend decided that we were going to get it so we could cool down the 2080 or the RTX 2080. The max temp that we get with this graphics car in the stack cooler, it's 70 Celsius. And well, it stays around 67 to 70. Under load, 1440p. I repeat, 1440p. Let me tell you something, in case you didn't know. 1080p, you're gonna use lower graphics card processing. Like a 1080p, it idles, well, it uses about 58, 60%. 1440p uses about 90% and 4K, well, 4K uses about 100% of your graphics card. With that said, it makes me wonder why there's only eight good reviews of this product. And well, you know where I'm going to. Like I said, the concept of this product, it's like the Kraken G10, that you can slap any water cooler to it and it will work. But let's cut to the chase. This thing, did not work or did not do what it promised. It just didn't do it. Maybe the RTX 2080, it's too hot. I did everything correctly. I made sure the RPM was running perfectly fine and it was just, it didn't work. It didn't work. It's late at night and I'm making this review. I just dropped on a shirt and as you can see, I have a mess here, mess here, cables here. I've been messing around. I got cables over there. I, I wanted to get to the bottom of this. And I am not, I'm not the type that likes to leave bad reviews on products. I, I hate it. But the ID cooling, Frost Flow, disappoint me. Disappointed me. It disappointed my friend because we thought we was getting a heck of a deal. We paid, what, $65 for the bracket, it comes with the bracket and the cooler and a fan. And well, we didn't use the fan. I use one of my EK Bardar uh, F4 120ER 2200 RPM white. I, I still have a whole bunch of these. Um, so I slapped one of those into the radiator to make sure it was getting the temperatures. And as you can see, here it is. I just put everything back in here. Uh, so I'm not going to review it. I'm just going to say, this product did not meet our expectations, did not give us the temperatures that we were going for. So for us, either this thing is effective or those eight reviews on Amazon, they're fake. And I want to say buyer be aware, but at the same time, I did cooling. If this video gets to you, because this happens before to me, I did a honest kind of a bad review on something and I got attacked by their monkeys. 
I was attacked. I'm not going to say what company was it, but I was attacked. So if this video gets to you, let me tell you something. Run some benchmarks on your computers if you have an RTX 2080 um, and run it at 1440p. Uh, second of all, uh, this product did not meet the expectations. I would have been okay with 60 Celsius max temperature. And this, some of these reviews on Amazon and Reddit and some things about this, this product, because there's not too many reviews. And that is the reason most of them are positive. And the only negative side is the installation was a little bit hard or the installation wasn't easy. Uh, well, uh, if you're getting one of these things, you're supposed to know what you're getting into. Obviously, it's not going to be easy. So that kind of people saying, well, I'm getting, uh, it's not going over 50. And it, it, it just, I'm starting to think that it's bullshit. Now, before we get into final conclusions, I have to say that when I was testing, this is a 1440p monitor, but when I was testing, um, the temperatures with the 1080p monitor, I was testing 1080p, 60 hertz monitor, and B-Sync on. Like I said, the graphics card was uh, using about 58%. Now, when I slapped on my 1440p, 144 hertz, one millisecond response, after I slapped that in here with the graphics card and the cooler, it went out of my, all the way to like 92, 95% gpu usage and that's when the temperature started spiking up now let me go back a little bit when i was testing at 1080p i was hovering around 55 58 celsius it wasn't going any higher than that so it makes me think that these reviewers on amazon they're playing with a 1080p monitor running benchmarks and making videos that this thing is great but a 1440p is higher GPU usage. Sorry, this is not a positive video review, but I want you guys to be aware, if you're playing a 1440p monitor, you're probably gonna get higher temps. Now, this test was done on a 2080 RTX gigabyte. See you guys next time. Bye-bye now.